Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking with another video. Uh, this one is one that I had just recently thought about and uh, if you guys have been subscribed for about a few months now, you will know this one's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, because a couple months ago, no, a few months ago actually, I think last summer, I made a video called uh, Glock 19X versus M9A3 or vice versa, you get the point. So I'll start from scratch in case you guys may not know, but the US Army was using the Breda M9, uh, that 92FS for the longest time and the trials went up to get a new pistol. I sound like a broken record if you are subscribed, but a few guns were in the running. Glock with the 19X, uh, Sig Sauer with the P320. Uh, what else? Uh, Breda tried to get it again with updating the Breda uh, to the M9A3, which is this one here, as well as some other ones, but I don't have all of those to my possession. In fact, I even sold my 19X. So these are the ones I have now. But like I said, I made a Breda M93 versus 19X video because those two are the ones that had lost, had not gotten the contract, but were two that were up in the running. So there was an interesting comparison. So, but it was really just a comparison versus uh, as far as which one I preferred, as far as my perspective, which is just a recreational shooter's perspective. I'm not carrying these for myself, but you guys seem to enjoy it. Got a few hundred thousand views. So I figured why not? Let's keep, because like I said, I sold the 19X. Kind of wish I didn't, but I did. Um, but I'm obviously not selling the Breda M93 for <laughs> any time soon. Ev I'm probably ever. Um, but you guys would know a few months ago, I was calling this my favorite pistol, like my most effective pistol. I was the best with this one. I think it looks fantastic. I was just for some reason the best while shooting this one. So I really liked it. Um, a couple of different pistols. The one that both of these are sitting on under here, I'll show it later, is a P226 Legion. That did not go for the trials. Uh, in fact, a 226 in general is what the Navy uses, I believe. Um, and that's a great pistol. However, um, that's probably my favorite gun at the moment. I'm gonna make an end up video on that one. But second to that one, I would actually say is the Sig Sauer P320 M17, the one that actually won the military contract. However, in a couple videos back, you would know that it was not my second favorite gun until I threw on the Leupold uh, Delta Point Pro. We'll talk about that a bit more later. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the differences that you would expect from, like in my position, a civilian recreational shooter, uh, if you're considering one or both or whatever else. So let's go ahead and run through it. Yeah, the Bread M93. This is a full metal gun, and you know that right when you pick it up and you feel it on, especially like today on a colder day. Um, but yeah, they go, went ahead and I guess I'll tell you guys some of the quick differences they made from the previous M9. Strained it up here, not like a fastback or a hump here anymore. It's more 1911-ish. Obviously, they're both chambered 9mm. Uh, both take 17 round mags. Uh, but yeah, so it is a double stack 9mm. Uh, but yeah, I guess a familiar grip. It's kind of a cross between a 1911 and the Breda uh, 92FS, the traditional one. They went ahead and changed it up to where when it's on fire, the uh, selector uh, or the safety switch is angled a little bit more upwards to give you better leverage for cycling uh, like that. So if you're wearing gloves or whatever, uh, they raised up the sights. They are now also uh, tritium glowing sights as well. Uh, but they raised it up in case you want to run a suppressor. And from the factory, this is really nice. It comes threaded so you can throw on a suppressor as well. Also went ahead and added rails here so you could add a light like I did just like that. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, these are some Olight uh, Valkyrie lights as well on both of them. One's a mini, one's a full size, in case you guys were curious about that. Um, but anyway, yeah, they went ahead and added rails. A couple little minute little differences here and there. Uh, the mags themselves are a difference. They went from 15 rounds to 17 rounds. Um, capacity, these are also sandproof mags, so if you put dirt or whatever on there, uh, pretty easy to wipe off. Uh, you're going to get three mags out of the box uh, with the Breda, um, whereas you're going to get two with the M17. Uh, we're looking at MSRP about $1,100 or so with the Beretta. Street price, I believe I paid about $800 or so. So obviously street price and MSRP are different things. I think I was around $850 or so set up that way, which isn't bad at all, I don't think. Let's go over and talk about the um, P320 M17. I'm going to be fair uh, initially and not mention the Leupold at first as far as pricing and all that kind of stuff. This is a different gun in that this is a striker fire gun. It does not have an exposed hammer at all, whereas the Beretta does. Uh, on top of that, it's also polymer on the bottom. Uh, P320s for the civilians, you can equip them with and without a safety. Any safety is appreciated by me. You could also just get an M93 with just a decocker and it flips up so you don't have a safety. M93 is only like this, so I like that. Um, but yeah, so you have a safety on the M17 which I really appreciate, but it is a polymer lower. I guess that's the big difference versus a full metal gun. Um, so yeah, that's a big difference. Like I said, instead of three mags, you're getting two 17 round mags, so same capacity. Um, with that said, it's gonna weigh a little bit less. I don't have all the specs for you. I can just tell just from holding it though that it definitely just weighs less. As far as comfort, I think they're both equally as comfortable. It just kind of depends on your personal preference. Um, MSRP, I actually don't necessarily know the MSRP on this one. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the 800s or so. I could tell you the street price though. I picked it up for 625. 
Um, so it's gonna be a cheaper pistol. However, the way you see it right now, now is when I am gonna mention the Leupold. When the military is gonna run this, they're gonna run it with the iron sights, which by the way, factory for 625, you actually get uh, tritium glowing night sights as well, which is really appreciated. But if you didn't see my last video I made with it, for some reason, I just couldn't get to shoot as well as I wanted to with those sights. Um, and so thankfully Optics Planet uh, partnered up with me, sent me a, a Leupold uh, Delta Point Pro. I threw that on there and on my first range visit, I thought, great, that's a significant improvement. My second one, I started to fall in love. And then my third range visit, I was absolutely in love with this setup. This is the fourth range visit, so hopefully I could keep that up. But we're talking about a $400 optic, which if you already have this pistol, you're even remotely considering it, completely worth it. I mean, it'll change the feel and everything of this pistol, the capability, everything. One thing I did off camera, I'm gonna have to probably eat my own words and do it, but I'd made a hundred yard shot with this exact setup with a fair amount of ease. So might have to do that on camera just so uh, say I did. So with that said, this is a more expensive gun, but this is a more expensive setup the way you see it. So that's how we're gonna run them. Just, you know, may not be totally fair, but let's go ahead and see. I really like the irons on the M9A3 as it is. Uh, so I think I'm gonna be fairly confident with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw eyes and ears on and let's go with it. I haven't shot this one in about a week or so. Haven't shot this one in a few months. All right, it's been a while. I say we go ahead and start with the Breda. I love the sights though, traditionally. Right now it's kind of in that weird part to where it's getting a little dark, but not dark enough to use the uh, glow sights. Um, so you just have to take my time lining up the optic. That's probably where the red dot's gonna be more of an advantage, but this isn't necessarily comparing red dot versus irons. Um, I don't know if I finished my story with that, but when the military is gonna run the M17, they're gonna run it with just irons, or if they're gonna do a red dot, they wanted to run that one specifically, the Delta Point Pro. And that's why uh, SIG had to make the mount for that site specifically. So if you see the military running this gun, it's irons or exactly how you see it here. All right, why not? Um, might be getting a little bold here. But uh, a little, little further, I'm gonna try to go for the smaller ground targets. All right, uh, I guess let's keep the distance. Kind of knocked over all my ground targets, so let's see if we can't get those white ones. Ooh, skipped a few there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick a favorite without making some people mad and just lying to myself because I'm liking both of them quite a bit right now. All right, so I got two more uh, mags per gun. I'm thinking we're just gonna plink around again for the close-up stuff, one mag each, and then I guess we'll back up to 100 yards for the last ones. That'll be really disappointing if I don't hit anything. But uh, anyway, bread up nine, let's go a little closer again. I deserve for all those to flip over, but for some reason the momentum's not doing it, but looks good staggered too. How does it always go through?
Got a little sloppy there at the end, but still. That's the way back it out to 100 yards. All right, like I said, uh, I've done a 100 yard shot. I've only attempted it uh, the last time I was out here. Got it once with the M17 and twice with the 226. So haven't really tried it at all with the M983, but uh, let's see here. Oh boy. It's getting cold, it's windy. I don't know how much longer I could really be out here. So, one more mag. I think the M17 can do it. Just don't know if I can. All right. Glad I was able to get it at all. But uh, I'll be honest, right now, with the wind, chill right now and everything but right now it's just kind of dusk to where even like these barely tinted glasses will kind of dim it quite a bit but at least both of them were able to do it today happy about that all right so uh i thought that'd be a pretty fun video i'll try to conclude it here at the end but um yeah pretty much you guys have already seen content on this one you've already seen some content on this one i thought i'd just bring them together and kind of show what a gun that has been up for trials but pretty much replaced with the other the uh, m17 so that's kind of a fun video um I'm not necessarily biased towards either one because I did buy them myself and I enjoy shooting both, but I guess if I pick a winner, then people might get upset. So I'll try to justify it. I would probably go ahead and say, uh, out of the box, considering everything, how they feel, how they shoot and price and everything, uh, out of the box, I am still partial towards the Breda M9A3, just all overall fit and finish, everything. Threaded barrel is always appreciated. You could always throw that on a P320 later on, but um, just out of the box, I think this is just better for me. I'm better shooting at it this way. However, if you throw on a $400 at the current price uh, from Optics Plan, if you throw on a $400 sight, now you're looking at about a thousand dollar setup. And in these two setups, now I prefer the M17 P320 uh, quite a bit. Uh, so I guess that's the quick summary about it. Iron sights out of the box right here. Uh, if you're gonna throw a uh, red dot, uh, this is where I'm at. So I think it's a fair way to end uh, that one there, but plenty of fun videos planned uh, very, very soon. So stay tuned for all of that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.